Since this just happened hours ago and there is not much footage and reports surfaced yet in the media about this incident, as I promised before in one of my videos to provide quickie news of such events, let's get to it. About 12 hours ago, an assassination attempt of the leader of the Lugansk People's Republic was committed. He was allegedly being driven in his SUV in Lugansk city, the capital of Lugansk Oblast, in the intersection of Karpinsky and Vatutina streets, his SUV exploded from a bomb placed on it, and according to the Lugansk media, Lutz, he is in stable condition, but other reports say the contrary. Most notably, the Ukrainian OnePlus One media group Union, which claims to have more information about the incident from a Ukrainian National Guard serviceman, claims that he is in critical condition in a hospital and that one of his guards was killed from the blast. This comes from a serviceman named Ilya Kiva. Advisor to the head of the Ukrainian security service, Yuri Tandit, has also confirmed that an attempt to assassinate Igor Plotnitsky occurred today. The Lugansk People's Police, which is the name of their combined militia, contrary to the Donetsk, which call themselves the Army of the Donetsk People's Republics, the LPP are conducting an investigation and are blaming Ukrainian saboteurs for the assassination attempt. The reason for this is actually generally expected, due to very similar assassination attempts on multiple heads of states and militant commanders in the past. This includes Commander Givi of the DPR, which survived two assassination attempts, and on the leader of the Donetsk People's Republic, Alexander Zaharchenko. One of the commanders that did not survive an assassination attempt was the commander of the Lugansk's famous brigade, Prizrak, or known here as the LPR's Ghost Battalion, or Ghost Brigade, Commander Alexei Mozgovoy. Mainstream medias have put Alexei Mozgovoy as a warlord. Meanwhile, his two interviews with Vice News interviewed him asking, Why are you always taking my words out of context and quist twisting them, he asked. All assassination attempts are similar, with Givi's car being shot by small arms in an ambush, and Mozgovoy's car, also an SUV, blowing up from a bomb in Lugansk on May 23, 2015. Ukraine claims that these assassination attempts are done by the Russian FSB, however, these commanders and heads of states are highly respected by the units they lead and by the citizens of the two republics, and their memorial services and how many civil civilians attend speaks for itself. Mozgovoy also survived an assassination attempt two months prior to his actual assassination. His assassination also took the lives of his press secretary Anna Semelyuk, three armed bodyguards, and a local married couple. All of these assassination attempts always kill bodyguards and local bystanders, and only once succeeded in killing an actual chief. It will, however, certainly have an impact on relations, hostilities, and the ceasefire between Ukrainian and separatist forces. I have no further information at this time except the usual separatists blaming Ukraine and Ukraine blaming Russia. But it does make me question on how a Ukrainian National Guard serviceman would have more information about the assassination attempt while the Lugansk People's Republic's media and investigators are still trying to sort things out. Was the serviceman there? Was the Ukrainian National Guard part of it? Part of it? How do they know more information about this? Anyways, as the situation develops, I will be uploading more information as it becomes available from all sides and parties involved. Subscribe to Ukraine War Awareness to keep updated and stay informed.